There are so many different ways I could have gone with the deep dive last night. Mm -hmm. I mean, did anyone lock in on Felix Bautista coming out <sighs> in extra innings? He hit a bucko three. He is a monster. Literally just Lee Smith wrapped in a Roldis Chapman from the right side. I, it, exploding stuff. And the young talent that's on display in this series couldn't be denied. But I wanted to focus on three guys, two Reds. And give me a little love for Jordan Westberg because I hadn't looked at him much yet. Let's focus on TJ Friedel. We always want to tell stories. Everybody's got a different journey. Pause this real quick. Want to talk about this guy's journey? Undrafted. Didn't even know he could get drafted his junior year because he redshirted. So I think he kind of went under the radar according to the stuff I read. And then all of a sudden, Signs for 750 grand as an undrafted free agent wow. and grinds his way through the minor leagues. Hit at every stop. So this guy is put in the time. He comes up. Nick Senzel gets nicked up a little bit. He gets put in the outfield, and he is killing it. And he is the prototypical run this leadoff hitter for a great team right now. Getting bags. According to, <clears throat> according to fan graphs, he's the third best base runner in the entire sport. He's got pop. He put on a display last night. Left on left. Just watch this. You want to talk about ball player? Oh, wow. He's all over that pitch. 1-1. One, one. Now let me show Bunt. Get the third baseman. Look at Gunnar Henderson. He's on his toes right there. Doesn't know if he's going to bunt or not. So I showed Bunt. I'm staying on left on left. And oh, by the way, I'm about to take you deep on a high heater right here and get on top. 93 up in the zone. He's all mm. over it. He tries to go there again, and he beats him to the spot. So he showed every facet of what he can do. Getting the boys going. I'll play the small man game, and I can take you deep. Who did that? A guy who he says he models his game after. Nails Lenny Dykstra back in the 80s. I mean, what a perfect leadoff hitter. He's now a this. whack packer. What is he? He's a whack, he's a Howard Stern whack packer. Is Lenny he really? Yeah, Lenny Dykstra. I can't yeah, you know, I can't worry about what he does off the field. On the field, I was all in. <laughs> he had the huge chew going, everything involved. All right. Jordan Westberg. We hadn't looked at him coming out of Mississippi State. I wanted to go down a wormhole last night and take a look at his swing in college and give him a little love as well. Because he ripped apart the minor leagues. And he's come up and he's shown the ability to put bat on baseball. Get Knox, play some defense at second base. He looks like he's going to be versatile. He's going to show a little bit at second. He's going to show a little bit at third. They'll probably stick him in the outfield a little bit. But you can tell this guy's got big time power. 18 bombs coming out of the minors. Run this back for me real quick. This is him at Mississippi State. Has he changed anything? You are kind of a version of who you've always been. Yeah, maybe his hands are a little further back at Mississippi State. He's got aluminum. He can get jammed and still drive the ball out of the park. He shortened some things up here. No doubt. Run this. But, man, short to the baseball, powerful, mm. opposite field power. Just the, the bat will play. He's going to find the spot all what, the time. That, who's his swing remind you of? You ready, Robert? Yeah. You know him. Remember Dean oh, Palmer? Yeah. Man, he remind me of Dean Palmer. Just hitting nukes all over That's the a place. Good comp. Okay? So you got Friedel, you got Westberg, and then there's no comp for this guy. <laughs> He's a stat cast darling. Give me some Ellie Dela Cruz. Because just well, you can't take your eyes off him on the field. And he put it on display last night. Oh. We're going to get into a board and show like what he's been able to do. He's got the hardest hit ball. He's the fastest base runner. He throws absolute rockets across the diamond. But in the ninth inning last night, I'm sitting there. We're going to show this real quick. What was that, 118? I mean, the left fielder, run that back for me real quick. This is the minor leagues. That's off Joey Lucchese, by the way. Watch the left fielder react. Run it. Bang. Look at the left fielder. He didn't even move. He's got his head down. Bring up this board real quick. He's got the hardest throw track by an infielder at 97 and a half miles an hour. He's the fastest average sprint speed in baseball at 30.7 feet per second. He's got the hardest hit ball track in the minors or the big leagues at a buck 18.8. Get back into the ninth inning. This is the difference maker. Hmm. Off the end of the bat, put it in your pocket. Wow. And then what happens? Next pitch. I'm on second. He's instant offense. He, he's 
like nothing I've ever seen. I know we're talking like Eric Davis because of the Cincinnati Reds, but I really haven't seen a guy look like this. So I tried to morph CeeDee Lamb. And Robert, you got to help me with the pronunciation. Wembenyama? Yeah, Victor Wembenyama. And kind of morphed them together to create with this. Lamb? Well, it's like <laughs> almost like Ellie De La Cruz. I'm waiting for him to run a 15-yard slant route. <laughs> but instead, he decided to pick baseball. Yeah. If, if Robert Nelly De La Cruz took off from home and ran, ran around the bases, oh, like when that. he reached home, where would Robert be? Just for perspective. I, I would probably be at second. <laughs> he, would, he would just I'd be, be at second. Hitting second base. <laughs> yeah. Just getting there. So good. Yeah. That's great. That's a great comp. I mean, he, he's, is, is he's this, unbelievable. Is Wembe Yama potential bust? Or no, like, no. Oh, that that, that guy is a, a transcendent generation. Really? Talent. Yeah, that's how All right, I is. saw a shoot around. It was a little sketchy. And un unfortunately, <laughs> a little sketchy on the shoot. Unfortunately, he's going to the San Antonio Spurs. So, that, but that's And by story. the way, Jonathan India, the reason I put C.D. Lamb up there, that's America's team. Okay. Oh, no. Just, well, you know what? Both the Reds and the Cowboys have been without a Super Bowl since 1995. <laughs> so there you go. Come on, Dak.